Hey there, this is a quick little video about building an aluminum thrower for your proton pack. I've been working for the last year, not quite a year, I'd say about a half a year, collecting parts for my aluminum thrower. I had a cast before, I also had a matting wand. Both were very nice, but not exactly what I wanted. I wanted that authentic feeling. So, I still have part of my cast wand left over which this has been attached to, and most of my stuff that you see here was on this. So still waiting for the rest of my order to come in from Freaky Geeky. You can find them online. They do all the custom aluminum parts for the Proton Pack. Still waiting for the body. Other than that, we have, of course, a handle. We have a, another custom handle welded by them, all set up ready for your electronics which slides over this tube here. And these gro uh, grooves allow it to rotate. We have a screen accurate cylinder here and an aluminum trigger tip. We have our throw rod to allow the nozzle to come out and then to retract. We've got a authentic clippered valve R701. Very nice piece. You can get these for about $45 straight from Clippard. GB fans, handles, or grips. We have a machined gun strip. We have all of the knobs. These are the stunt GB2s from GBFans.com. Our top knob, front knob. I still have yet the other side knob. Still have yet to get the small knob. Not very many people make those. We've got our discs here. Custom built trigger box from another gentleman. Uh, there's a plate that goes over that that cuts that. So I actually, and that's cut by him. So you can see the difference between machined and non-machined. Then we have our real banjos. Now these are not screen accurate, but these are still authentics. These are about 35 for the set. Got our rear cylinder. Very nice by GB fans. Front cylinder by GB fans. Heat sink aluminum by GB fans. Ken off Kent Ben off Kent props, excuse me. Beautiful, beautiful ion arm. Got all of our hats by GB Fans. Got our lighting kit by GB Fans. And then uh, our mounting plate for the bottom of the wand and some batteries. To build one of these wands, it's not cheap. To do full aluminum the way it's supposed to be done in the movie, you're looking at about twelve to $1,300. Like again, I've been slowly collecting all of my parts. And this will all be assembled and goes on a Spirits Proton Pack, which looks beautiful. Also have GB Fans lighting kit. And then we also have a Fincher Technologies smoke kit. And then a custom little thing that I added, a rumble motor. And that's pretty much what it looks like when you're assembling all of your pieces to do an aluminum thrower. It's very expensive, unless you cut everything yourself, but again, you still need help from others. But hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy. Thanks.